Samantha from Sweet Samantha, and this is my very first YouTube video, Yay! hopefully the first of many to come. I'm going to show you guys different tips and tricks and yummy desserts and how to bake things and decorate things, but today specifically I want to show you an epiphany I had this morning um, on how to make your own edible cake decorating pearls. Now these are not sugar pearls, however. They're just as beautiful. They look almost exactly the same as the tiny little Welton pearls that you'd find at the craft store. And they're totally um, easy to make. So this is a quickie version of showing you we're starting with a whole big bag of traditional pearl couscous. That's it. So we're gonna put a little bit into a bowl here. Um, I'm gonna leave this just for our demonstration today, regular color, but as you can see here, I've done it with all different types of colors. We're adding a little tiny bit of vodka. I like to use Everclear. Uh, the alcohol will absorb out and we're just going to use this for quick drying purposes and to get either color or luster dust mixed into our pearls. Generally, I pour it into the cap like so and just enough to kind of wet and sprinkle on our little couscous pearls. We are leaving these uncooked so you don't need to cook them, just nice and dry. And we're going to put a little bit of luster dust in here. Um, this is just Wilton luster dust in like a silver color. Again, I'm just looking to make like an antique kind of look to these pearls. But as you can see, I did various colors already. And we're going to mix it up really quick. And the alcohol will help spread it around on the pearls. And before you know it, you're going to get like a really nice pearl metallic sheen to it. Obviously, the more luster dust you add, the more coloring you add, the deeper of a color or a look you're going to get to these pearls. I'm going to add a tiny bit more color here because we have a few extra pearls going on. If I wanted to make these more silver, I would probably put a tiny little touch of black in there to turn the pearls gray first. But again, for our purposes today, just to teach you guys like a really super cool trick, you can see how some of them are turning a little bit more silver. These look almost identical to the Wilton... Um, antique ivory looking pearls that you can buy like at Michaels or AC Moore. Once you're satisfied with your color, again this alcohol is going to dry up really pretty quickly. You're going to just spread your little pearls out onto a sheet of wax paper, leave it to dry for probably five minutes. Um, if you're into luster dust or into the tiny little specks of um, disco dust or anything that's going to make it glitter just a little bit, you can tap some of that onto there. Uh, and Depends on what coloring you use. For something like a really deep dark gold this morning, I colored the pearls yellow first and I added a drop of the Rolcom Gold Powder, which is that really, really intense coloring. Uh, and you'll get a really deep color. Or if you just kind of want to stay neutral, uh, I added a little bit of white food coloring and it just made like a pearly white color. So these taste fine. Uh, they're crunchy, they're hard, they're not sweet, but really kind of not so much uh, sugar pearls. I don't find them to be sweet either, so I'm wondering if it's made from a similar product. Um, I suppose you could use small tapioca pearls, but again, I don't know too much about, um, I have these here and I've experimented a little bit. I prefer the taste of the couscous dried, and it comes in like a huge bag, like I said. So feel free to experiment and get back to me with any other ideas you might have using these pearls. And enjoy my tip. You can find me at www.sweet-samantha.com for my website. Or you can also find me on Facebook at Sweet Samantha Cakes. So I hope to see you there. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to give you lots of new hints and tips in the future. Bye-bye.